Jesse, are you ready? We're just looking at uh, where our taxpayer tax money goes. We can call Jesse. There he is. Good evening. Yeah. How are you, Jesse? You're doing good. I didn't even have my phone because it was dead. It ended up being an hour. I thought it was like 30 minutes, but... Yeah. Are you streaming today? <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm stream a little bit later. I... I too early. I, I, I like my sleep schedule is slowly getting further and further. Yeah. It's like I wake up at like five right now. Why is there it is? Now I see you. Jesse diet update, same as last time. We haven't uh, changed anything. Well, I gotta show you uh because <clears throat> I'm doing a sponsor thing, so I gotta show you the menu. I didn't order it yet, but I have to order it soonish, so I'll show uh -huh. you like what I picked. I just gotta make sure. Chad helps though, but yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you, you can. Uh, this Why is, is my camera so blurry? Is it because I'm the, not bright? Probably so. dark because it's dark in your room. <laughs> it's a little bit better. I saw I TikTok. Know. No, I saw Jesse TikTok and started watching Camp Knut on YouTube and went to the gym for the first time today. My man, that's what we want to see. Jesse? Yes, sir. Uh, we, we, we can we can talk about one thing before we talk about you and that's all the messages I'm getting as well I'm not sure I, uh, like you oh, probably yeah. getting them well I especially because I like had like a sad day on Twitter yeah and then I don't know I was just sad but that people because I was already getting messages of people doing the diet but there was like a lot more people are like oh just by the way I started that diet <clears throat> because uh your stuff so i mean i i'm still going i i just wonder like if i just hope people aren't following my exact diet and no like, not all not all of them are following your exact diet but it doesn't matter if they follow uh the the exact diet or if they just get inspiration to do do it themselves that doesn't matter that much but the concern i have is that i'm getting so much message messages from young guys we're talking from down to 12 year olds asking for help and yeah, that's pretty cool <laughs> it's cool i think it's a bit do you know what i i've uh, i'm saying and like i could have shipped a 12 year old a diet but what the hell it isn't a good thing right you never know about well, those they, they go to school they have their school lunches you don't want them to go hungry no you don't know how much stuff they're burning a day like yeah, it'd be rough. I yeah, and, I'm, and like, where are the parents to those twelve-year-olds or fifteen-year-olds? To you, can you? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you are now. Oh, this is what I am now: helping young kids uh, eating healthy. And some more grown-ups. Like I have no problems guiding those who are a bit older, just because. But but I couldn't I couldn't di diet all of these people. It would be impossible because there's so many. It's it's just getting more and more and more, and they're coming. Since you can't send. People think I'm a kid, by the way. A lot of people are saying I'm a kid in the TikTok. I'm 25. Yeah, way. I know you're a grown up. I know you're a oh, yeah. grown up. <laughs> <laughs> like some people think you're like helping like a 60. I am 25. Oh, yeah. And I just can't grow facial hair. I don't know what it is. It yeah. is what it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they should have known that when they saw the weed. The <laughs> yeah. They're, they're like, well, that's... That is something... They're like, damn, he's really young to be smoking. Like, that's a bad... A lot of people think I'm vaping. They think I'm smoking nicotine. Yeah. I'm not smoking nicotine. I'm smoking medical marijuana. Yeah. That I'm allowed to have. And I just, you know, that's my that's my copium, because I used to smoke a pack a day. Just to give you a little, I used to, when I was fourteen till I was twenty three years old, I used to smoke a pack a day, Camel Crushes. I quit smoking at like twenty three, um, and like cold turkey too. Like I I did vaping for a little bit. I hated vaping, and now I just smoke a bunch of weed, and I'm mm. good. And it's better yeah. at least than uh, nicotine or the. Is it better? Uh, we can always discuss this. Let's not to talk about that. It doesn't matter. It, well, it's not. I think so because I mean, you got like a plan and like the the cigarettes I was smoking is. And cigarettes are bad anyway. Chemicals they decided. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, and plus I'm not, I haven't even been burning it either. I do it in my my uh, thing, well. and it's it doesn't have any of those like additives and stuff that people get sick by. It's just straight distillate. So, uh, you're getting it from yeah. the pharmacy as well, probably or pharmaceutical yeah, grade. In Florida, it's medical. It's not recreational, so you have to go and it's like a doctor's office. Yeah. So, yeah. At least that's better than uh, cigarettes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I have also thought about uh, making like a advice list to those who wants to to those who need it because there there is a channel on my Discord, uh, Jesse, and it's active. People are uh, the Jesse Progress channel. <laughs> Let me see. I think they made one. I don't know why I'm lagging. By the way, it's my end that's lagging. Oh. Let's see why. I don't know why. Let me just close Google Chrome. Yeah. That's usually the way to do it. Um, I have a fitness channel too. Yeah. That yeah, they use a lot as well. And there's one main guy that I saw. Like, just shout out to him. There's like this guy. I don't know if you see the tweets too. But his name is like Thomas. I've like, seen like, the phrase. Or... Them. Yeah, he, like every day he posts like an update of him like just sweating, covered in sweat. He just did his workout. He takes. He's about like the same size as me too, probably. So he's like doing the exact same diet, which yeah. would work for him, yeah. Yeah. And he's going hard, bro. So I see him and I'm like, you know, I gotta do my walk today. <laughs> yeah, good I to hear. It. But it, but it's good that there's multiple people joining in, because then it's like a, a group thing, right? And, and it yeah. feels easier probably if you talk a little bit to them. Just yeah, minimize the application. Sit tight. E stream post. <laughs> Is this shit? Sorry. What is this shit? My, my whole computer is lagging and breaking right now, and I don't know why, so I'm just closing things slowly. <laughs> what oh, let me turn off Vanguard. Have? Watch this. A good one. I I have like this. That's the thing that's confusing. Is I paid a lot of money for this, and I built it. Yeah. And it's fucking breaking, and I don't know why. Oh, let me close this. This. All right, here we go. Is that fixed? Yeah. Nope. No, it works on my end right now. Can oh. we go to FPS check? Oh, uh, the DVD. It's a bit out of focus. You know That's the only thing. Do you know what I was doing? The DVD right there? No. You ever see the DVD thing? No. That moves across the screen when it hits the wall? Yes, you uh, have. Oh, I probably have seen it. Hey, the DVD that goes and it goes. Bing. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. And it has to hit the corner as soon as it hits the corner, everyone freaks. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, something you need to be smoking weed every day to <laughs> <laughs> look at. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You can I learn. closed everything and I only see me, so now no, I'm but it's, it's, it okay. seems good. It seems good. Okay. So. So, do you have any weight updates? Uh, I haven't checked because I like the week thing that you said because yeah. it was like bumming me out because like one day I'd, I just would be heavier the next day so I'm just going to wait a week. I haven't done it yet no. but it should be in Feel on that. that Monday. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. How was the so. cheat meal? <laughs> it was good and I looked forward to it all day but it gave me the worst heartburn ever <laughs> <laughs> and um I felt like shit the whole next day for half the day. Yeah. And I was like, that was not worth it at all. Because <laughs> no. I did a um, big old jumbo burger, at the thing I linked you, yeah. and an empanadas. And that messed me up. I think it's just because I've been like only eating health, like good stuff. Yeah. And my body just cannot take that shit anymore. <laughs> I, like, I, I know exactly the feeling. You feel, you feel, you just feel bad. Yeah, it did not feel good, like, because I still did the walk that day. Yeah, yeah, of course. And, and I, like, I, the thing is, is, like, normally I'm not super hungry towards the end of the day, but, like, I was craving that cheat meal, so I made it, like, the last meal of the day. Yeah. And, um, yeah, no, my night was bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> I woke up, I had heartburn, and I was like, if I'm going to do another cheat meal, I'm going to, like, make sure... It's not something that's gonna affect me the next day. Like I'm not gonna do pizza. I'm not gonna do none of that. I don't. Like, what's a cheat meal that you do that doesn't oh. mess your shit up? If I were to cheat meal when I was really dieting, 
I would probably choose just a like nicer me steak meal. A what? Like a beef with some sides, like uh, half healthy. But I, now I have I've eaten so much shit lately myself, so it's not about that at all. Like, uh, well, I wanted to eat shit. Like, I, <laughs> I wanted to be like, because that's all I've been thinking about was just, uh, fuck, let me just get that one meal. But I don't think I'm gonna do it that way anymore. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll just eat more you know, of one of the meals that I like more. What we can do is just add in some more carbs that day. Like to, to each meal, some more rice and oats. If, if you really just want that, we can upper that a little bit that day. That's what I do. When I do competition diet and I don't have cheat meals, we have every fourth day, I have extra rice and extra oats. <laughs> oh, so you, you schedule your... You like your cheat meals though well then it isn't it, cheat meals it's more like a refeed it isn't cheating it's the same food just a little bit more yeah because there's one meal i really like there's like this uh my sis my sister set it up the first time yeah it's that lean beef meal that you gave me but she makes it like all mediterranean yeah so that's where like the olives and stuff and oh my i look forward to that so much but it's just not that much food no. It, so like my cheat meal might be like a double serving of that or some some like one day or something you know. You can add, only like, you what, can add in more calories. Yeah, you can add in more sides if you want to. I well, I don't eat anything separate. I do like bowls, but yeah. I just, yeah, yeah, yeah but I add, like add I, in more. Have some garlic bread uh, beside of it or something. It doesn't need to be anything insane. Yeah, that sounded good. That is I haven't had good. garlic bread in a while. No. Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. <laughs> I, I think it is when you're getting all of that fat. Uh, that's how, at least when my stomach gets upset. Um, when I have those uh, cheat meals when I'm dieting. It's getting all of that unhealthy fat that I, you're not used to. Oh yeah, it just felt so like yuck. Because... I like detoxed my body practically. Yeah. Plus, I'm taking all those vitamins and all that stuff. I mean, who knows? My body just felt completely different. Like I didn't feel the same anymore. No. Like, I, I actually almost like couldn't remember even how I felt. And then the cheat meal was a reminder of like, holy shit, I used to feel like this every day. Yeah. Because as shitty as I felt, it was very recognizable. Very recognizable. That is how when I would feel shitty, that's how I would feel. And it was like. I have not felt anything near that, anything near that since the beginning of the diet. Because I haven't, che I'd never cheated the diet once. I've only had one cheat meal this whole time. Yeah, but that's good. That's, that's yeah, perfect. but I went hard. Yeah, yeah, but I think it was the cheese. I think the cheese got me. I think I'm like super lactose intolerant, and I've noticed that because um, be. I think I am because yeah. uh, uh, I like have completely cut milk practically out of the diet because it's not in my diet. And um, I just tried this like milk drink thing. Remember, I told you I was going to drink chocolate milk. Yeah. I drank a yuhu and I threw it up. Oh. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, and that has never happened. So I don't know if my body hasn't had milk in a long time, and it literally just treated that like poison. It was like no, hmm. like no joke. So I might also just be lactose intolerant as shit, and I've been eating cheese every day for years. Well, if you are so, that, this diet at least will help you not having those problems. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know why I never just took a second. Uh, maybe that's why my stomach is just so ass. It's just milk. Like, I think I'm actually just extremely lactose intolerant. Well, <laughs> it's not weird that you feel better at least, but that's that's only, that's only good. It should be like oh, this. Yeah. It should just yeah, I'm be only there. I'm only noticing that I just want to feel good every day, yeah. And uh, how is the energy levels going? Are they up there the same? Is it does it feel like you're tired or I stopped taking the GABA and I started having more energy. Okay. Then you... I stopped for just like a couple days just to see. Yeah. And I think it just doesn't mesh really well with my SSRI, or at least just the way I do it, because I I think it was just that. Because my sister was telling me, because my sister doesn't take anything like that, but she was taking some of the GABA because she 
read it. She read all the stuff yeah. that you sent me, and she's like, oh, "I want to try the Gabba." She's like, she is so chillax. She's never felt so chillaxed in her life. And I was like, maybe. Wait, it's a bit that's too much. What's doing it? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm also smoking weed all day. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. I'm smoking weed all day. I take an SSRI, and I was taking the GABA, and I was like, I was getting tired. I would wake up, do something for five, six hours, do the walk, and I am, I was beat. I was beat. I'm not even leaving the house and doing anything besides the walk, and I was, like, done for the day. That's why, like, I didn't stream for a couple of days. I was just so low energy, and I was like, yeah. might, maybe be the GABA. But I still think GABA is good. I just don't know if it works like with me. No, but then you just don't take it. It's that easy. We we pull yeah. out things that doesn't work. Then you just skip the GABA. Well, I like the GABA though. Like I think GABA would be nice if uh, <laughs> I wasn't trying to make my life good right now. That's what, <laughs> that's what I'll say. Like I think if you're stressing and you have a hard day at work and you come home, I think GABA actually is pretty decent. Yeah. To do. Or, be, uh, or if do. you can't calm down when you're going to uh, to bed, just to yeah. uh, relax. Yeah, the melatonin really helps. I love the the good sleeps because yeah. it's not even about going to sleep. I can go to sleep. I can lay down and go to sleep, but it's about waking up a million times a night that you don't think about the melatonin. You just wake up and you're like, "How long have I been here? <laughs> or am I?" <laughs> but you feel good. Yeah. Lama, that's good. That is, that is perfect. Yeah. So so we we want to have that good sleep quality. That is important. Is there more questions that I have that uh, that I have? I have well, I I need to seriously send you the menu. I mean, I don't know if you want to do it on your stream and stuff because it's like my thing. But no, no, I do send want me. It. Right. I don't care if we if, if we look at well, it. Well, I know it's a sponsor thing, but I actually want to like if I like it. I mean, screw it, right? Well, of course. Because I. Uh, while you're saying that, uh, for everyone that wants to see his diet and everything, just go into my Discord. There's a channel called Jesse Updates. In pinned messages, you have the diet and you have the weight progression. So yeah, everyone can see it there. I sent it to you. Um, Let me check. You can collect the different dates. You don't even have to show it on stream. I could just I do this in private too. I don't care if I show it on stream if it doesn't bother you. No, I, I don't. I don't care. I just don't know. So but the only thing I have to be careful is their sugar replacement and their stuff is they put coconut sugar, and I'm allergic okay. to coconut, so I I just see those in some of the meals. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but this but. is healthy meals, so there's no problem. Just uh, look at the calories and try to match the meals that you have now. Oh, actually, so it's I don't really even have to focus that deeply on the macro for the meal either, because I just want to try it. I just want to, because plus I have to. So. Oh. Uh, it's a bit different from what I put you on, but it won't limit your uh, uh, limit your uh, weight loss. I, mean, I don't want to full on replace them or nothing. I just like if one of the you know, while I'm doing this, like maybe it's one of them. I just want to make sure I'm not eating one that's like super bad and off the macros or something, and I think it's okay. Like this, look at the black pepper and sage pork chop, like that. Uh, black pepper and. Yeah, and like that looks like that has cream cheese in it. You see what yeah, I'm saying? I see. There's a lot of fat in this one. Yeah. So, so you could take off some of that, right? If you had, let's well, say. They, Pre-made, though. Yeah, but you can take out some of the cream cheese, can't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just scoop it out. Scoop out some of that. The, these meals are high on protein, low on carbs, and high on fat. <laughs> Most of the meals here. Uh, and is that kind of what you're doing with me anyways? So no, I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty... Oh, high uh, protein, low in fat. Yeah, low slash medium fat. The fat that you need and uh, medium carbs. Mm -hmm. So, it, What about like, what if like that, see the apple kale juice? Like are those anything I should ever do or no? Uh, Cold pressed juice pack? 
<laughs> apple kale wheatgrass juice. My dad used to like do stuff like this when we were growing up. So is, I it, actually is it like under uh, dough? It's on that same thing as the, the green Just ones. Wild. Yeah. Uh, per serving, 110 calories, carbs, 28, sugar, 23. Well, it's not something I would recommend you to drink, no. And, and, never mind, I'm good. I just didn't know if it'd be good for me, like in the morning or something. The, the thing is, this is almost like drinking soda. Actually, is it really that bad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well... well I would guess, since, since I don't know how big a serving is, you might have to drink a little bit more. Uh, but uh, I mean, I didn't order any. I didn't no. order anything yet. Like I wanted to make sure with you that I was like, because there is stuff that looks pretty bare bones in here too. Like, yeah, my my, my guess is th this is probably from apple and kale, right? So there's some. It's probably a little bit more of the healthier nutrition in it as well like vitamins and everything but at the same time you won't feel full from this no, and yeah. you it's you like will water. get in the sugar so 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 that's i would rather uh, skip those i would rather uh, just have the meals and make them uh, uh take out some of the fat in them if you could okay just scoop out whatever yeah because yeah, i <clears throat> even now too i mean even a, there comes times where i'm eating even some of the meals now which wouldn't have happened before i i, I eat all my food before yeah but there comes times where i'm like i'm full bro like i'll have a little bit there and i'm like i don't want to eat that no nope. that sort of happens sometimes and that will happen with this i mean my i think my body will know that i won't eat the whole thing i couldn't even eat my whole cheat meal and i still had heartburn and regretted <laughs> every second of it well, I didn't even get close to eating my cheat meal. I got, you told me 1,500 calories, just to let yeah. you know. You told me 1,500. Yeah. Was that a joke? No. Because I didn't even eat close to that. No, it wasn't a joke. I, if you I ate like to. 700, and I was full, like so full, I gave the rest to my sister. <laughs> <laughs> How is her I diet was, going, by the way? Oh. She's, um, she hasn't like, like super started yet, because oh. the holidays and yeah. She's still moving because we just moved and they're still going back and forth. Feet, you know? mm. but she's gonna. She's actually doing like the New Year's, like waiting for New Year's. And she's still making you know? it for you. Not everything, but she's been having fun with it. Yeah, that, but that's good. She like, she's <sighs> getting so into it too. She sees because, you know, I've been doing a Twitch stuff, but now that it's TikTok and like your kids see it, yeah. Because like my nieces, they'll be scrolling and then I'll hear my voice. <laughs> and it's us on their thing now oh. and um i don't know she's just getting more into it like she's like she thinks i'm like extremely famous now and yeah. uh she wants to make a tiktok account called the jesse s Mafai chef and i'm like you know well, she can do that. <laughs> yeah. i mean she can it's just it's funny it's funny how involved she's getting but i told her i was like uh, the biggest i'm ins uh, the biggest inspiration for her diet is showing everybody your diet and your progress yeah because you're not just doing it for yourself like you can't lie because normally in a diet you're just lying to yourself maybe if you're with somebody like a significant other you can lie to them but i can't really lie i'm on a camera i can't like it's <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> the thing is there's nothing i can do i'm screwed <laughs> <laughs> screwed that the, the thing is <laughs> There, there's no one else than yourself you would lie for anyway, right? Because it's your health. It's your yeah. Health, so. But I'm saying if I yeah. really wanted to cheat it, you know, I've had times in my life I've had diets and I go, I go to work, I'd go to work and tell everyone I'm on a diet and I'm doing good and then I go home and then, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you can't do that. And if I do that, you know, everyone will notice. I will make, I will send out a TikTok. Jesse. You'll notice at the weigh-in. I will. I will just hold this one up and the camera and speak into it, and I will say, uh, "Have your stream open, film it. Let's see that guy. He's cheating. His diet. He doesn't follow the diet anymore. He gave up. No, he fucking don't gave up. That. Look at him. Look at him. No. Point. Point. No, just kidding. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I. I can't, dude. No, but. No, no. 
No, but it, you you shouldn't want. I, I, you don't want to either. But I I get the feeling. It feels like a bit. You have to. You really have to commit now. Well, I do want to say though. I don't know if this guy's watching, but there was a guy showing sending me a picture every day of his walk, and he stopped sending me those photos, and I noticed. Yeah. So get back to your walk, sucker. And send the. Hey. Let's see them yeah. walks. <laughs> yeah, send that back. Just uh, remember, even though you don't get an answer every time, we see the messages. We see them, but you can't respond to all of them. I read it. Oh, yeah. I read every single one. Yeah, I literally do. I mean, there's a lot of paragraph Andes in the uh, in the diet world because they, you know, they want their story, and everyone has like a story. It's not just as easy as saying this, 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 and that. Like usually, when someone wants to diet, there's a it's there. like a big emotional reason behind it, you know. Yeah. Like you want a lifestyle change. So these people spill their beans, bro, and I read all of it. <laughs> I, I spill. I read the whole beans. Yeah, I haven't been reading all TikTok comments. I have to admit. Well, well I didn't see TikTok. It's just on Twitter. Just yeah. Twitter. I, I don't. My TikTok got banned. <laughs> yeah, but it's up. Again, you know that? Huh? Yeah, I know. Oh, did. Oh, did it go back up? They yeah, made a new no, one. They no, made a no, new one. It, yeah, no, I, I asked my manager. I'm trying to get on ban. It got it got banned for I had an LSF clip from like a while ago. It was just a joke thing. Um, I saw it. I like, saw it. Uh, yeah. just a video that you had to turned on or aut automated videos uh, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, and, and and first off, it was just a chemistry guy. It was actually somebody that I watched. It was just, I was just trying to make a good one, and they banned my TikTok, bro. For teaching Damn. kids to make bombs, for fuck's sake, Jesse. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like, it was like melting down metal for like, <laughs> like I don't know what the hell it was. It wasn't a bomb, but it was just I just made a joke. But they actually banned me because I guess they believe the joke. No. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not gonna post that one up anymore. You know, it's funny. That's my biggest clip too on my channel, and I that shit got me banned on TikTok. Yeah. Come on, bro. It isn't even a... They can't even see how to make a bomb from what you posted there. It's impossible. No. It's no, just... and they shouldn't permaban. They should temp ban and be like, just ask. They permaban, they count? What? Yeah, it's ridiculous. It oh. is really ridiculous. It's a hilarious know. clip, though, the one on Twitch. I've seen it. <laughs> I, I literally... It's like my biggest clip, and I wasn't even in it. It was on accident. Yeah. Just... Uh, is there any changes you want to be do that needs to be done? Um, I don't know. I ever since the cheat meal, I've been appreciating the diet more. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything I really want to change. Did you put the? I haven't checked the doc. Did you change the to potatoes? Actually, I've just added it in. Let me see that. How many potato I can actually eat? Um, mm, 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 470 grams. Is that like one potato, though? Like a decent potato? <laughs> it's more than one. Oh, really? Oh, oh. really? It's a lot. Well, let me see. Wait, um, how many grams did you say? 470. I'm looking up how much... 470 grams it's about a pound oh damn okay yeah that looks good <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm down for that and it could be any potato does it matter just the it standard the potatoes uh it's not sweet potato because that's a bit less that would have been less I, yeah I'm, a, yeah I, i'm not even a huge sweet potato guy but I've been eating it for the diet. I mean, is there a replacement for sweet potato? I just know sweet potato is really good for you, so I don't mm. mind eating it. It it does. Uh, you can have potatoes there as well, or uh... I've been getting used to it honestly. I've been like kind of liking it because I don't eat a lot of sweet things, and it's weirdly like my dessert for the day is it... a sweet potato, and I kind of like it now. Like it's oh, you're getting into know. the like, diet think... now. Well, things are starting to change because I'm not eating other things and I'm just kind of forgetting about how a Snickers bar tastes yeah. and how a Kit Kat is. And then I'm just now the Kit Kat is turning into that sweet potato. Yeah, that's how that's the exact feeling. <laughs> oh, it's happening. It's happening. 
<laughs> now he's <laughs> getting it. Now he's broken for life. He will take sweet potatoes as candy in his family. <laughs> he ruined his life. Yeah, it's sweet. Like, I thought it was just like when they do the desserts for Thanksgiving and stuff, because there's like sweet potato pie. And they normally they put marshmallows all over that. I don't know if you ever saw that. There's like uh, marshmallows over. Like, it's the most unhealthy thing ever. When I eat a sweet potato now, it tastes like I'm eating that. Nice. Somehow. I don't know how, but it does. I think it's just because I'm so, like, my sugar tolerance. Yeah, because you don't you have I mean? sugar. Like, you don't have sugar. Yeah, like, this Diet Coke. I, I haven't had Diet Coke in a while. I've been doing the Diet Dr. Pepper. Yeah. But normally, you know, when I would eat out, I, I would only do diet sodas, but, like, every occasionally, like, if I ordered McDonald's, I'd get a large Coke. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's some places I just get their soda. Like, it's, like, the main thing. But I haven't had that, right? I haven't had that at all. No. So when I drank the Diet Coke, this shit was so sweet. Like, way sweeter than a Diet Coke has ever been in my life. Like, I, I had to, like, kind of look at it, and I feel like, some, like I, something was going on. Like, they painted the can wrong, and I was drinking a regular Coke. Because that's <laughs> literally how it tastes like to me right now. Yeah. And, it's uh, weird. And, and you, you, when you taste the uh, normal sugar Coke, it will taste horrible, so that you don't even need to taste Really? Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be so sweet. It will be horrible, I'm saying. It'll, it'll probably just hurt my stomach. Just, me putting in like liquid sugar in my stomach right now, I just would assume my body would hurt. Yeah, maybe. I think I've been, I was just eating all that every day, and somehow my body was like getting used to it yeah. or something. Now when I try to double, if when I double dabbled, it's like, well, it's... no. At least that's my a good thing. My body literally said no. Yeah. Yeah. It's way, way better than I like this. It will be healthier. You will live longer and feel better. I'm looking yeah. forward to one year in on this thing. We go, you know, Jesse, you have signed up for a, at least a year with me. You know that? You Don't yeah, forget. You're my, you're my uh, yeah, we got a year contract. <laughs> yes, a year contract. And the, the, so so uh, I'm looking forward to see, look back at this clips in a year you trying to get me ready for camp canute or something uh, maybe uh, maybe <laughs> we start up a bit for uh, up front yeah uh, if i if i hit i mean if i hit a goal weight i totally would go out and do a a thing with you i think you would you have know. been a good uh a good person to have on camp canute not that first one though because that was heavy that would have been rough i would have been like it would have been hard i mean i'm sure like those diets you put on everyone too like but it i was think my diet's hard now yeah but the, the diet was pretty similar to the one you have now wait really oh, yeah it's pretty much the same oh what are they oh and they're babies yeah no, that they're... is not that bad no <laughs> the only thing is i thought that I, we, I thought uh... the camp new one was like a, a lot more extreme it's, no it wasn't how are you really swapped bro lakari went hard yeah but if we had added in daily insane workouts to you as well things would have changed faster but of course lakari he had a little bit less to take off so it was so, so that you can see the change more but i think you would have changed more than any of them if you put in the same work for a month Where am I even at right now? Are we a month in yet? Uh, let me check. First, weight registration at 326 was the 26th, so we're not a month in. Oh. We're about yeah. two weeks or something. Oh my god, it's two only been two weeks. Wait, let me just How? Check. How has it only been two weeks? It's two weeks and a day since... Uh, <laughs> Since you were what? 226, I think. Oh no. Wait, I actually thought I was like a month in. Oh no, no. It feels like forever. <laughs> yeah, it does. Cause it's hard, bro. When you do a walk every day, every day starts becoming a lot fucking longer, bro. <laughs> when you go from days not doing anything, like three days can feel like the same day. But when you go three days in my life right now, that's three walks outside. Yeah. That's a bitch. It's Three a... walks is a bitch. <laughs> How and does the I walk feel? I feel that shit now? all day. Like, well, I've been going harder every day. I'm not like 
when things start feeling better, I just kind of push it a little bit more. I just, I'm constantly trying to be in that, like, I want it to feel annoying. A little bit it's annoying all the time, but not too bad. Yeah. yeah. I want, I'm always trying to, like, there's an incline in my neighborhood, bro. Oh my God, let me tell you. Dude. There, I have a route, and I figured it out. It's, like, perfect. Yeah. We're, like, the last, my last, like, mile that I do is like half incline and half decline that incline is at the end and mm -hmm. like every time i get to that point i feel like i'm getting faster on that incline but my legs are getting railed because <laughs> yeah. i like i'm like feeling the burn but it feels good because it may the burn that i feel is like fixing the previous day yeah like all day that it hurt it's like it's like i'm getting in there and i'm like fucking crumping up the muscles and it makes it just feel better yeah, but then but then I feel it the next day. Then you feel it till the next day. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But uh, is it easier to just walk around normally now than it was just two weeks ago? Yeah, I feel like I'm like fucking flash. Like I, the like normal like when I finish my walk, I'm like, things are so weird. My body still feels like I'm walking. Yeah. Like fast. So, like I like, I don't know. I never really noticed walking being hard. And also, I don't have stairs in this house anymore. My last house, I had stairs, but the stairs were rough. Yeah. The stairs were like... It. Yeah, I hated that. Um, but I don't have stairs anymore, so I don't really notice, like, every day moving ever being hard, you know? Plus, right when I moved here, I started the diet, so... Yeah. So it's yeah. all changing from, the, from them. Yeah, I said this house changed my life. But isn't that well, because I was thing? able to turn on webcam. Well, yeah, because I never did webcam streams and stuff. Oh, I used to, like, a long time ago, but I didn't want to. But it was like, I kept saying, I kept procrastinating that I would turn cam on when I moved to the next house. And I finally moved here, and then that's like, you know, uh, it just pushed me to do it. Yeah, it it sounds like you're just fighting all of those things you were holding back on before, in a way. How, how can I explain this? How can we explain it in English? Was it a fear of having the camera on, or why didn't you want to have it on? Because, you know, I'm already... Because there's an image that people already kind of have of me, of, like, that I've been for years, and... I don't know, I, putting on a camera and someone coming in, and I'm overweight and stuff, like, <clears throat> I don't know, some people are mean, some people don't think their messages matter, but even if your shit just drops for one second, and, yeah. you know, there's people that I've noticed that that have been watching for years say some, like, fucked up shit, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's like, you know, I, I can that, tell. that sort of gets to you, and... I, I can yeah. fully understand if there's something you don't like, like being overweight, you didn't like that, and there's coming in people being mean about it as well. Yeah, because I, I don't want it to... I, I consider myself a funny guy, okay? And I you never a had guy. to sit here and be on camera and be fat, and that's why I'm funny. Like, I want to, like, do my own shit, and I never wanted it to be a part of my physical self. And then when you turn on a camera, you know, you start... You, you self-deprecate. That's what fat people do to feel better. So they self-deprecate. So now my humor is starting to get mixed up with how I am. And that's not how I am with myself. Because no, I, I don't want to do Because I don't have a camera. And I now when you have a camera on, you start to super self-deprecate. You use it as an outlet, as a joke or something. Yeah, But I, I, I never used you, it as a But I don't joke. think you should do that now either. No, hmm. I, I, and I haven't. And that's no. why the diet thing is good because if anyone comes in there and they want to joke about how fat I am or something, everyone's fucking kicking their ass in the chat because the people that actually watch me know I'm working on it. Yeah. Right. But if I wasn't working on it at all, then they 100% have a reason to talk shit about it. Honestly, I mean, no. if you're if I'm showing it, that's public, right? So. Fuck. Maybe I need to stop uh, making jokes about my hair now. I haven't been insecure about it uh, ever, but I'm making jokes about it uh, at the same time because my chat is saying I'm bald all the time, and soon I'm convinced. <laughs> I, mean, that I, I mean, seriously though, it, but that—that's seriously a thing, right? Think about it though. You really have to think about it like that. Like, 
if something isn't funny to you, you don't have to make a joke about it. I you know think what it's mean? funny. If, if it actually, I... oh, then if you actually think it's funny, then fuck it. But if you don't, uh, fuck it, bro. Listen, uh, Jesse, I know I'm not bald. That's why I can make the jokes, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at chat now. I know I'm not bald, but it's because <laughs> that's because I can make the jokes. <laughs> They're huffing on that coat. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I, but that, that was something big, too, because like, I would stream before, and all my stream is is it's music. It's yeah. the, like it has nothing to do with your diet. Like, and now the only annoying thing, I guess, and which isn't annoying because you would think it's like a non-annoying thing, but they come in and they ask me if I'm training, yeah. or they ask me, you know, and it, you would think by like, oh, well, that's good, people are coming in, but when you got like a lot of people that do it, and you're trying to have certain content and do a certain thing, you know, you don't want to. And I, you know I, I get what you're saying. You don't want the only topic on your stream to be uh, about dieting or uh, about being yeah, like, obese. Yeah, like, they just cop in, how's the diet going? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, Which I appreciate, but it's also when you... It can be too much. Yeah, because it's, it's not something I really want to... It's not. My weight isn't something that I really want to make content. Like, this is just kind of happening... And yeah. it's good because it's inspiration for people, and I'm good with that. And but, you know, there there's a lot of stupid fucking things people say. There's a really big one is they don't don't be Greek. You know, what I'm saying that's one that's one thing that people say that is so fucking annoying. Because what that does is you got one fat guy that became skinny and his personality changed or something, and then anyone that's fat that they think is funny. They're like, they're connecting you not being funny to losing weight. And I hate to break it to you, as dumb as that might sound, it makes you not want to fucking lose weight. Like, I, <clears throat> it's we like, it's weird how people are like, oh, he's going to be less funny. Like, they actually connect that. Like, that's a real thing. Like, you're bettering yourself and you're going to be less funny. Like, what is that? Like, it they, is bullshit. Twitch, Twitch mindset is so dumb sometimes. It's like ridiculous. Like, they actually think that. They but think it, that's real. You have and that's to annoying. Remember. A lot of people come in and see that shit, bro. It's so weird. Yeah, I agree. And what what do you what you have to remember that uh, when uh, every time someone says that, you have to remember this is kids. This is well, kids. They they have probably never seen anyone lose weight except Greek. And he was. They thought he was funny before because he played. He played a lot of. Be, uh, he made a lot of humor on him being, being a fat guy, right? Do you remember? Yeah. And then he changed, and he got a lot of shit, and it probably got worse. I'm not sure how it happened. Personally, I think Ricky can be a good guy. I uh, I don't care if he uh, has a bad arc uh, sometimes and says well, some stupid he, here's, shit. Here's my take on it, though, and I think it's one to one with what I just said. And Greek, so Greek when he used to be Tyler, right? Like this is serious, yeah. and I, I can. The reason why I know this is because I can completely put myself in those shoes. Him playing with Tyler, he wasn't on a face cam. He just said what he said, and everyone laughed at what Greek was saying. And then when he went on face cam, he allowed his weight to become a part of his his comedy routine and his joke. So when he lost his weight, he lost a part of his comedy routine. But the thing is, is Greek had his own shit before he had a camera, and he did all that stuff, and people forget about that. Greek's yeah. a funny person, yeah. but he allowed himself to his weight to be a part of his comedy routine. And that wasn't why he was funny at all, and he just kind of forgot who he was. And I just don't want that to happen. That's a, that's a huge fear, and sadly, that's a fear because a lot of people make it a fear. Like they they come, they seriously think if I'm going to start losing weight for some reason as a trigger in someone's brain to be like, well, don't don't do Greek, mm -hmm. don't do the don't do the Greek thing. Like I, I get what you're saying, <sighs> and I if you don't I want don't me think... to do the Greek thing, then don't write that. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's so fucked. Yeah, we can. We could also, if you don't want to have those updates on your stream, we can only do them here as well, because then it will take away a little bit from this being your content. If you don't want that, that's all up to you. Yeah, I. That's kind of like what I've been doing, sorta. Yeah. Yeah. I would rather. I would rather that honestly, because I. I do like separating it, because I know I. I'm. I've been a viewer before I was a. 
before I did this, and you can pair, so you could really get committed to somebody's life, right? Yeah. And like really want to see somebody do good, and have the right intentions, but just write the wrong thing at the wrong time. Yeah. And that happens a lot. That happens a shit ton. And you know, is it? It, it doesn't really like super get on my nerves, but I'm just kind of saying it to where like I feel like I can bounce it off because I feel like I kind of have like I kind of understand it a little bit more because I've taken the time to think about it. But you have people that probably don't take the time to think about this stuff. Yeah. And they won't die it. <laughs> they actually won't die it because they actually have people telling them that they're not going to be funny or half their humor that they have is their weight. You know, Nikado Avocado, you know that yeah, guy? Yeah, I know that guy. That's his whole thing. That's yeah. his whole thing. So he can't lose weight. He, he'll have a fan base that's really happy for him. But he will, for ultimately, the people that that laughed at his stuff will ultimately say he's not funny anymore. Because now they're not laughing at him anymore. No. They, can, they can't laugh with him because all they could do was laugh at him. I, I, you, uh, you should never put in a position where you're being laughed at and it, on purpose. At least not about things you want to change. Exactly, yeah. That that is it's uh, so bad. It's bad mental. It's so bad mental. Like I'm being laughed at as well, but it's different things. I'm a meathead. I'm hairless. I can't do anything about them. So <laughs> I will will be be like this all the time. Yeah, I mean, bald. <laughs> bald. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it. It was a little different. It's different when it's your hair and it's like your life, like you, me actually being healthy. Because yeah. I 100%, I know it for a fact. I know it that there is so many content creators that bold. use their weight as comedy. Like that is like in the normie world and you go on trending, that's all the fat. There, there's fat comedians that are comedians because they're fat. Yeah. And that's it. And they make jokes about them being fat. Yeah. And when you build that up and you do that, you're like super fucking yourself. You might be making a bag in that moment, but anytime you want to actually help yourself and do anything, you're only half those people are going to support you because the other half are laughing at you and the one half is laughing with you. And, and they will just find a new person that does the same or something when yes. uh, it's gone. Yes. Yes. Yeah, self, that, that guy, like self deprecating is the easiest humor because it's like, it's your conscious talking and you're just, you know, it, to somebody else, something might sound really dark if you say it in a room by yourself. If you try to make this joke by yourself in a room, it sounds really depressing. But when there's somebody there that can laugh at it, then it's a joke. Yeah. It, so. But yeah, anyways, sorry for ranting. I'm high. No, that's fine. Uh, we, we want your takes. We want you to let out all your thoughts there. Th th isn't that what we're doing? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> So, all all yeah, your emotional like, problems, Jesse, put them on me. <laughs> and this is literally like therapy. Uh, it's good. Uh, as long as it uh, as long as it does good. There's Knut ther therapist Knut. No, but uh, we we wanted to talk out so we could listen. And, and that, what he said right now was a really good knowledge for everyone to have. I think it was. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it, it's a niche. It's a niche area because it's not like trying to be somebody a content creator and like a, is a niche thing but i think it could be used in everyday life though yeah. i think if you're a fat person and you're going to work and you go to work and you're the funny guy because you're the fat guy and oh, oh yeah i'm gonna eat all that food yeah and it might be funny and everyone's gonna think but how many times you haven't you kind of solidify seen them? yourself as that character i think everyone has seen that character now and then that you see always smiling a little bit fat person that is clowning on himself yeah because it's it 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 is really nice to be the one to make fun of yourself and not someone else if you beat them to the punchline they can't get you i mean that, seriously that is how that's how it is yeah you beat them to the punchline they can't get your ass you already called yourself that yeah i am gonna eat all these yeah but at the end of the day it's short term and it's good short term but long term it's bad it is bad because when you want to start helping yourself and start working on yourself and that part of you is gone you'll notice that people act differently yeah. and it's just not, it's just you realize that those were actually just walls that you built up 
and stuff. And maybe so. uh, you're you're not getting that positive feedback all the time that you were used to getting from making all of those jokes about yourself. Yeah, because it's all like, about that uh, dopamine high, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, literally, that's all. That all. The reason why I think the reason why there's comedians, I mean, is because they just they like making people laugh. That's like the main point of it. Because yeah. you, it's them getting the dopamine. Yeah. But then, if you want to better yourself and you're not getting that dopamine anymore, because people aren't coming up and laughing at your fat jokes, what are they going to start laughing at your running jokes? It's a lot <laughs> easier to laugh at a fat joke than a fucking running joke. Oh, there's a lot like, of no, running I was, jokes. I was well. jogging the other day. <laughs> like no one. <laughs> When you started, uh, jo I was jogging, and I, and then you start the other. I was at Burger King, and you, which one just sounded funnier? You know what I'm saying? Like a, a meat Burger King. The, listen, and that's Jesse, today's sponsor. You saw yeah. that video, uh, Professor Bro Science Life. You should learn to laugh at that as oh. well, <laughs> Jim Joe. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that will no, be the next call. <laughs> you yeah. gave, I gave you my cringe content. You gave me your cringe content. I yeah. <laughs> Here's like, yeah. Well, let's keep those separate. Let's just keep this in. Uh, let's keep this out of the therapy level. That, that that will be the next uh, arc of uh, Jesse. No more yeah, touch changing <laughs> changing my videos. I watch. You're gonna change my algorithm on YouTube. Yeah. I'm forced to watch workout videos. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it already is getting changed. Honestly, I'm getting like a bunch of. Right now, I get a lot of calorie things, like a lot of low calorie meals. Even though I'm not making them. Yeah. I don't know why. That's just it knows. The algorithm knows. knows. Know. It knows, but bro, there's some good looking shit. That's low calorie mountain. It but is. All of it has fucking coconut. <laughs> coconut in all of it. And I'm allergic to that, bro. I can't do it. Oh. How many steps I have done today? It isn't many. I was drunk yesterday when I came into your chat, Jesse. I have to admit, I was. <laughs> it was the first time I've been drinking uh, in a long time, except TwitchCon. Yeah, you were shit posting. You were yeah. literally shit posting in my chat while I was playing Minecraft. <laughs> That's allowed. I'm allowed to shit post. In your chat. <laughs> you're like, look at my last thing. You're like, you're telling me to scroll up. I'm like, I can't. I can't. I don't. <laughs> and then, <laughs> bro. Uh, since my birth, yeah, since Pasha's birthday at the bar as well. But I was more drunk yesterday than I have been uh, in a long time. If I ever come into your chat and shit post, it might be sober as well. Just, just take it as humor. I like. I, 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 you, I, you can shit post all you want. It's literally all anyone does in there, anyways. Yeah. It's literally the whole... That's all I know of Twitch. After reading my own chat, I'm worse than my chatters. When I go so am I, honestly. Yeah. And I know exactly what they're going to type too. When I see something on the screen, I know what they're going to spam. Yeah. So I'm already ready. It's, yeah. it's so weird. It's like, there's just a. It actually is so strange. If you go watch a Twitch stream, you just know exactly where they're going to type like a second before. Yeah. And it always happens too. It always Same happens. Moment. Yeah. It's not. It is the international language of Twitch. That's what it is. Yeah. The emotes. I know, if you don't know, yeah, I feel like we really could communicate with just emotes. Like, 100% we could. Oh, yeah. We should. <laughs> Do you see them in chat now? True. Yep. Hello, Mikael. True, right, hello, yeah. hello. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you like, uh, you're a Keck user, though. I'm a Keck user. I'm a, I'm a LOL W user. Yeah, I... I, I I like both of them, but I'm just so used to the Kek uh, at this point. Well, I'm I'm just used to Omega Walls. Like Omega Walls are what you farm for. You just want Ome little isn't it, Omega Walls are the best thing to see in a chat. Like yeah. a bunch of them at once. Yeah. Look at those. Those are the, the, you know that's that's the, the real dopamine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is the best right there. That's literally dopamine. <laughs> No. Or <laughs> hogs when you do something. Yeah. Lul E is pretty good as well. Lul E. Oh, oh that one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Force. Force. Isn't, isn't that the one? I have to see. Lul E, yeah, it is that one. 
Uli. Uli <laughs> without teeth. No teeth. <laughs> Wait, did a Knut force him? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have one. Why well, you have a mustache? I had the mustache at that point, I think, when I took that picture. Oh. oh but it, but it, it, it is suppo it's supposed to be a must. I, I think they have added in some extra. It might <laughs> Yeah, be. they added a little extra right there. A little. Yeah. <laughs> is it your fault, Pasha? Yeah, Pasha Nality is a friend of mine. He lives in Sweden. He's a chef. Mm. So we, um, and he uh, came, he was drunk with his family in Turkey on vacation. And uh, he came into chat and he's uh, a little bit before November. And he said, Knut, should we save up mustache for November? He, he has save a. Save up. Yeah, so he, <laughs> so he has had a full beard himself. Full, full on beard. And I said, yes, be my beautiful beard. <laughs> You just said you're must. You were rocking the mustache, though. I'm not gonna lie. You can rock a mustache. You know what you should try? You should seriously try getting like a beard, full beard, just once, just to see. Uh, yeah, the only problem is that it's so it's. You would literally itching, look like a Viking. But it's it's so much itching. I hate not being clean shaved. Yeah, but there's people that like really take care of their beards and stuff too, though. That like where that doesn't happen. Like they got like, like my I have a cousin. That takes care of his beard like I know better than he takes care of anything else in the world. Yep. You know what I mean? And like better than he takes care of his wife. <laughs> he doesn't have a wife. <laughs> no, I, that's not my cousin. That's actually that's my gym cousin. I do have a gym cousin huh? that's built. So he, but, that that's probably why he doesn't have a wife because of that beard. Because he only yeah, cares he about that. He has a giant. He has a giant beard, and he just goes to the gym, and he yeah. wears. Uh, Dragon Ball Z tank top. Are you? Uh, is your cousin uh, that guy? What was his name? Uh, <laughs> oh, why can't I remember his name? Chat help me. What the guy from the video? Yes, the video. No. No, no, Tectone. No. Uh, the guy that is eating Liver King. <laughs> no, no, is that he's your not cousin? <laughs> no, he ain't, he ain't taking nothing. <laughs> and he eats cheeseburgers. <laughs> my my cousin he eats whatever he wants, but he goes but he goes to the gym every day. Yeah. And he's fucking just he's big. He's a monster too. Well. But he's an hour away. He hit me up, he was like, If you ever want to do the gym stuff and he would he would drive out an hour away. I would maybe go to the gym with him. I used to go to the gym with him a while ago. He was he was good. Like yeah. he work he has a good uh He can probably help you good. out uh in the beginning when we started adding in some weightlifting. Yeah, I just every time I've ever been with him though, I've hurt my back. <laughs> so yeah, I can I can set up some exercises that will be easy for you to handle as well. Because you don't yeah, have I, to do deadlifts and squats, right? You can do yeah, other exercises. I really don't want to. I don't want to. I think I never gonna check. I don't. I just think there's something. I think I've got a weak back or something, bro. I I anytime I try to work out my back, I throw it out. Every, and it, uh, I'm just oh I'm done, bro. I'm done for a week. If I throw out my back, I'm done. I yeah, but it, it, there are exercises that would be easier and that you don't risk anything at all. I don't want to risk nothing yet until I got like a, a foundation. No, but we can you know, we can risk. we can set a weight goal up front before we start thinking about the gym, like two ninety, two eighty, something in that area. What what do you think about that? What is your first yeah, thoughts? I would down to do 290, probably, because I, not right when I'm out of 300, because I'm not gonna feel amazing when I'm 300. But I remember feeling pretty decent around 290 last time I went hard on a diet. 290, 280, ish, was I felt good in the while. I because there was a time. Let me tell you, I had I used to do um. Oh, I used to do 10. Was it ten thousand steps a day? How much yeah. is ten thousand? Or no, that's no, no, no. a good I used amount. To, I used to do ten miles. No, I used to do ten miles. Ten miles sure. a day? Yes, yes, I did. That's hours. Yeah. Huh? That that takes some hours. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I used to do it in the morning, and I, and then I also used to work at Chili's, and then I just I went too hard. I got a little addicted. Like there. 
That's why diets don't work because I just go too hard and I burned out like every time. I'm like a super burnout guy and I just burned it out. And then I also have like this weird thing where even if I feel pain and stuff, I don't really care. No. You know, I can just kind of I deal with it when it comes to that. That's why when you're asking me like if I hurt after the walk, I kind of look forward to it like hurting, right? A little bit. I, I get your point. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I uh, there's there's some people I think that I, enjoy I went some pain. Too yeah, if you if you I give up, hard. if you give up because you have a, because you feel like you're going too hard, then then you're going too hard. Yeah, it was two two seventy six. My last like time, I went really hard, but that was also keto. I was oh. doing keto and I was doing the ten miles a day. Yeah. And at first, I used to do the ten miles in the beginning of the day, <laughs> and then which is crazy but then i th would do five miles in the morning and five miles at night yeah and um but, <sighs> you know, yeah. i my job will be also to hold you back so you're not overdoing stuff so that you will so you will quit i can't overdo stuff right now no. but yeah i'm not in the same that's why i know i'm really unhealthy right now because even when i was doing that like i was fat but i was able to do it and i can't do it right now like, mm. I, I did an hour today, but I was hurting, bro, after that hour, and I don't even, I didn't check how, I stopped checking how much I walked. Yeah. Because I don't really, I don't want to do that because what I did was I walked really long one of the days, and then the next day I didn't, and I kind of felt bad about it, so I'm just not even going to keep track of it. I'm just going to. just going to walk. Go out. Yeah. But that's enough. Yeah. I, I, I feel like that, that is more than enough. You, you don't need to track that to the to the seconds or how f far far you're going. You can, you can just just walk a little bit every day. That that's all. Yeah, like yesterday I did the walk at the end of the day. With first time I've ever done that because uh, when I remember I woke up and I had a, I wrote you that you woke me up. Yeah. I I couldn't go and do the walk in the morning, and I dreaded all day that I was going to have to walk at the end of the day. Yeah. All day. So I'm not doing that anymore, but I like I just kind of had to, but I ended up doing the walk. But that walk made me go to sleep so good. Wow. So good. Like that was probably one of the best sleeps I had. So so that helps your sleep actually walking in the evening as well? At Like right before I went to bed I did the walk. Because yeah. I didn't do it and I, I was getting to the point where I was getting tired and I was like if I continue to get tired right now, I'm not going to do the walk. So I was already kind of tired even going out there doing it. But I just ended up doing it. But I only did 30 minutes. I timed it too, and I was done. But I did it. Yeah. I almost didn't do it yesterday, though. But I haven't skipped a day yet. No. As I'm saying, if you, if you for some reason you oversleep and you have to do something and you should for some reason skipped one day, that don't think about that as anything uh, that can't be fixed. Yeah, I just it just it, it just eats at me a little bit. Yeah, you know. I'm not sure what to tell you to make that stop, but uh, it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't be fuck you up in any way. It shouldn't make you feel that bad. Yeah, no, I'm not, I definitely, nothing with the diet, like I had a sad day the other day, but a lot of people thought it was the diet, it didn't have anything to do with the diet or nothing. Mm. Um, no, you told me a I, little bit that it was something else. So. Yeah, it had to do with something else, it didn't have to do with the diet, but um, I'm sure the diet wasn't making it like better, you know. But No, but do you think it would have been better to just throw in some fast food that day? Oh, I wanted to. You wanted to? But do you think that would I have made you feel better faster? Um, no, it would have fucked my next day up really bad and shit, but in that short-term moment, yeah, it would have 100% made me feel better. Well, maybe. I mean, it would have. I won't lie to you. I no, mean, no. like, short-term, you short know, term. like, 100%. But I, the next hour, I'd be upset that I did it, and then the next two hours, I'd start feeling that I did it, and the next three hours... Yeah, that's you know, that's why I asked. I'm really feeling that I did it. Yeah, that's why I asked instead of asking, do you, would that make you feel better there and then? I asked, do you think that would have make you feel better uh, faster? Like the next day would you have been better? No. I meant you no, would have probably feel, 
It would have only been really short term. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it would have been in the moment. I don't care about anything right now. I'm just getting this because this is what I want. Fuck it. Um, yeah, and that's the thing is, is I've done that like a lot before in my life, so I know it does work for the second, but. And then it gets worse. Yeah, yeah and then there's. You regret it from a, do a bunch of different angles. There's a whole bunch of different angles that you could regret doing that. It's like, you know, why did I break the diet for this thing? Why now? Not only that, but now I'm going to feel like shit. Now tomorrow is going to be harder because I just remembered how all this shit tasted, and also I'm going to feel like shit because my body is going to have to digest this fucking whatever the hell I just ate. And yeah, I mean, it's only negative. There's only downside to it besides just like that short term you escape reality for a second like I'm not dieting yeah. I'm not doing any of this I'm only doing this but I didn't let it happen thankfully so no, I think I think but that I've is had a good, it I've uh, had it happen before in my life of course you wouldn't have that experience uh, or you did, we wouldn't know this if, you, uh, if it hadn't happened before yeah it is most definitely happened before <laughs> I'm just typing. I'm getting a message here. There's a guy from the Jesse Updates group that is uh, that has made a document about. Uh, um, let me read. I think a document with a few details and links to websites would be beneficial to the flood of messages regarding the people asking for help. I made a simple Word document with a few websites and general advice. I would love uh, to share it here on Discord if you want. So he is sending it to me. Uh, so he has made uh, like an advice uh, document that can help others because that we can maybe give out to those who ask for more help. So it's like a a little guidance for people to start out yeah i mean that i think the the main thing is like i mean it's what i'm noticing more and more is i was extremely reliant on you in the beginning yeah and um you know after the first week you know it, it, it all comes down to you it's all personal performance it's what you do yeah. but a lot of people that you know, you're like, oh god, I wish I had a coach that would do that, or like it really helps. It give it gives you a lot of confidence and stuff like that. But I think if you, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a coach. It's just like even a goal that you have. It's a, even with you as a coach, it's still personal. Like I still got to everything is on my own. So there's a lot of people that aren't starting their diets because they don't have a coach or something. But I don't think. I I you think know, you just need to find the inspiration. I right? think what I can do. It's just make sure that what you're doing, you know that what you're doing is the right thing. That's what I can do. Yeah. Because because when you get that diet, you're more secure that okay, if I do th follow this plan, this will actually be a good thing. I'm not just doing something that I have no clue about. That's what I can help you with. Formulated the, the my thought a little bit better. It was hard for uh. me to understand what I was trying to say. I was trying to say like. They might think like that it that it's going to, like because it's work right like dieting is where it feels like I'm doing a full time job on top of what I was doing every day right now and just like I want to know even though I have a coach like it's still work like <clears throat> if you there there's probably like you know I'm not gonna start dieting until I get a dietitian or I know exactly what I'm gonna do or something like that but you know it. It isn't like that. Like it still ends up just being work, no matter what, on both ends of the spectrum. Yeah. And I, as, as you're trying to say, it doesn't matter if you have a coach or not. You yeah. still have to do all the work yourself. Everything is just you. You're the one sitting there having to eat the meals. You're the one sitting there having to not be tempted to eat something that you did before all the time. That's all on you. Yeah, it's just nice having you because, you know, if I don't like something, if I didn't have you, I'd have to go on Google and I'd have to go look through all this shit and go read all these opinions where I don't really care to see those opinions. It's just nice that you know what you're doing and you just tell me what I do and I just kind of treat it like a job. 
Yeah. And it's like, okay, this is my manager and this is my job. And that's kind of what it is like. And that's nice. So I feel like if people need like that kind of format, which I actually do. But what I'm noticing, though, is that what I'm trying to say is a couple weeks after it's like I feel like you it was really good for you, especially in the beginning, because like you pushed me. You know what I mean? And I never really got pushed by anybody like that. Like I've had my cousin that helps me go to the gym and stuff like that. But you actually made me feel like you actually gave a fuck. You know, if I, if I like, you know, are you eating and you're not getting energy? Like before, yeah, of course you're not gonna feel energy. You're not eating what you ate before. Mm -hmm. No, that's the type of shit I would hear before. But now it's like, no, we'll fix it. Yeah, that's kind of nice knowing that you'll fix it. Yeah, but because uh, and that comes back to what I said as well. I think we're hundred percent agree that the only thing I can help you with is like the technical issues, right? The, 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 because I've done this multiple times myself. I have done this, so so, so you, you you're just confident in what you're doing is the correct thing. The, 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 um, yeah, like I know what I'm doing right now is good because you said it's good. Where diets before. You know, like I did keto and I have to hear from, I go outside and, oh, what's your diet? Oh, I'm doing keto. Well, let me tell you 15 fucking reasons why keto is going to kill you. You know what yeah. I mean? Or, oh yeah, I find, I made the swap. I don't drink regular soda anymore. I drink diet soda. <laughs> yeah. well, let me tell you this one thing I fucking saw on the news. Like, I don't fucking care. I don't no. care. I don't care. It's better than before. Maybe better. the next step will be only water. But this is the step two, bro, and I don't care. Oh, yeah, like the guy you know, said like, in chat, sometimes turning off your brain and just following directions is great. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, you got that's that is literally that is how it is. I, I it's really hard for me to be my own boss. Yeah. Like, and you know, I've had a freelancing phase. I was a I was a video editor, and it's really hard to do things on your own and not have somebody that's like looking over you. Like, how many did you do this week? Yeah. How many? Why didn't you do this many this week? You know, there was a time where I didn't have that. Yeah. So I get how like a coach helps with that, but I think a coach and inspiration are the same thing. Like you are my inspiration. You know what I mean? I think like, you I don't have to necessarily wait for a coach. You can, something can inspire you and you can get the exact same result that I'm getting right now. That's what I'm trying to say. Of course, of course. And the, the things that I'm giving you for, it, a lot of people could have done that. There's a lot of people with knowledge out there. You could have you could have Googled around and found the same information as well. If you if you spent a lot of time doing it, you could have found it, found it, and uh, th that's that's just some uh, easy things for me. So you don't have to do that job. Yeah, it's just Sh shortcut. Shortcut, yeah. Like you you lived your life and you know exactly what you're doing, and I. What's good about the physical world is I could look at you and know, oh yeah, he knows what he's doing. You know what I mean? Like, if you were trying to give me advice, you turn on your camera and me and you look like we got a mirror sitting here, and then I'd be like, oh man, yeah, <laughs> literally, <laughs> you know, you'd, you you get a uh, what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, uh, so so you just gotta uh, tell me which medications affects with hair loss. I didn't know, there's none of them that affects with the hair loss in your diet. <laughs> yeah, that GABA, whatever that is, that I have to wear a hat, I got a huge bald spot now. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you did. <laughs> no, just, uh, <laughs> that your age? Just wait, Jesse. You have uh, 11 years. I have 11 years on you. Just wait 11 years and we can see that no. bald spot growing. <laughs> Hell, dude, I don't think I'm going to bald. I hope to God I don't. My grandpa has a full head of hair, and I, and I look like my grandpa, and we're, we're just going to hope. My grandpa was hope. 95, 93 years old when he uh, disappeared from this world, and he didn't uh, have a, even he... close to my bald spot, <laughs> so just to wait, just oh, it will no, be there. No. <laughs> oh. <coughs> all right, well, I, that's what I tell all my viewers every time they try to bully me. Young fucking stupid kids, just wait, you will have less hair than me when you're 36. <laughs> I, I don't even. I was gonna do the thing where you check. I don't even want to check my hairline. I'm good. No, I'm gonna. Good. Work. I don't know what's going on right there. I don't know why you can see skin there. That's not supposed to happen. But yeah. Um. Twenty-five, twenty-five. Still a young little, just a kid. <laughs> but 
Uh, I'm gonna. I'm so hungry, bro. I want to eat my first meal so bad. Yeah, but it was good having a little conversation again. We'll uh, do it in midweek or something. Okay, I'm down. Just. Sh uh, I will bully you and uh, update uh, when you have uh, done your done the weight. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you know the. I'm, I'm gonna do it on Monday. I want to space it out. Yeah. But I'll let you know. But have a good evening. Goodbye. Have a good evening. I appreciate it. Thank Same. you for the talks and stuff. All right, bye. Bye, Thank chat. Bye. Goodbye. Fuck, Jesse is a funny dude. I, I like Jesse every time I talk to him. He's hilarious, dude. He brought up a good point there about... Uh, about... Uh, what he said about being self-destructive in the humor. I haven't thought about it like that exactly like he said before, but it is... Uh, yeah, I care, he's a good guy.